Hi YouTube, it's Chris, K2CJB with K2CJB Radio. Today, we're going to go through programming the TYT TH350HT, both from the keypad and from the computer. I recently purchased the TYT TH350 from a small online retailer called Let's Get Ready on eBay. He also has a store on Amazon. The TH350 is an analog tri-band HT covering 2 meters, 220, and 440. I did an unboxing video where I showed what came with the HT. It has all the usual accessories you would expect, a drop-in charger, a belt clip, a Vox ear piece, and a lanyard. It also comes with two rubber ducts, one for 2 meters and 440, and the other for 220. However, when you purchase this HT from Let's Get Ready, a tri-band rubber duck antenna comes along with it for no extra charge. Mine also came with a thumb drive containing the programming software. Now, one note about Let's Get Ready. When I first received my HT, 220 wasn't getting out at all and the battery life was very short. I contacted Bob at Let's Get Ready and he exchanged it. The turnaround was within a week. So kudos to Bob for their great customer service. This is an excellent analog tri-band HT that is also very affordable. The specifications say that the radio puts out 5 watts on the high power setting and 1 watt on the low. Programming it is not as challenging as a Baofeng and can be done from the keypad or from a computer. That's important to me because I believe that an HT is meant to be easily configured and operated in the field and should not require a laptop to simply change frequencies. That being said, there are some unique things you need to know when programming the TH350. First, I'll walk through the menu items and then we'll program a repeater from the keypad. First, we'll go through the menu items. There's about 30 of them, and I'll explain a little bit about each one. And while doing that, on a couple of the items, we'll go through the programming procedure so you see what's involved. It's not difficult, and it's the same, basically, for each menu item. So the first thing we'll do is turn the radio on. And when it comes up, you'll see three frequencies in the window. Think of that like the Baofeng, where you have the AB switch, and you have two frequencies you can select from. With the TYT, there's three. The way you access each one is you use this band button. And you can see the arrows moving back and forth. So think of this as A, B, and C. So we'll go back to A. And now we'll begin going through the menu items. To get into the menus, you simply select Menu, and we come to Menu. You rotate the knob on the top, selector knob, and the first menu item, first of all, we can see it here is 001. First menu item is squelch. There's no knob for squelch, so you have to go into the menu and change the setting. Power output for transmit is set to high. On this radio, that's 5 watts. Low is 1 watt. Item 3 is Vox, on and off. Item 4, wide or narrow modulation bandwidth. The next item is Scan Add. This is if you want to add a frequency into the scan mode as the HT is scanning through the different memory channels. Next item is Step Frequencies. This is when you're using the VFO mode. This is how quickly it'll um, change frequencies from one frequency to the next. Transmit timeout timer, it's set right now to one minute. Beep, that's that little beep you hear as I'm moving the button. You can turn that on and off. ABR is the backlight on the display. I don't know what ABR stands for, but <laughs> that turns that on or off. And you'll notice you, can't, you cannot control how long the light stays on for. The next item is reverse. That's the a, a typical reverse button you have on any um, a VHF or UHF transceiver where you're, you want to, if you want to reverse the transmit and receive frequencies for a repeater pair. Talk around. I have no idea what that is. Maybe you can comment on it below if you do. <laughs> TDR, let's talk about this. This is tri-band receive. Now, you may think that because you saw three frequencies, you're actually listening to three frequencies at a time. You're not. You can, however, monitor three frequencies, and the radio will go to whichever one is active. Now, let's, let me explain that. I'm going to get out of menu for a moment. You press exit for that. And now you see I've got three frequencies in there. I've got a repeater. I've got another repeater pair. And I've got 146.52. Right now, 146.52 is in the third position. Now, I want you to see what happens. 
uh, let me go back to the menu first. Uh, no. TDR right now is on. I want, to, want you to see what that does. I'm going to key up my other radio on 146.52 and watch what happens. You'll notice that the radio switched, the TYT switched to 146.52. So if it detects a signal on one of the other two frequencies, it'll go to it when you have TDR turned on. It's an interesting, um, interesting feature. Um, I don't mind it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you're if you're working some repeaters and then somebody comes in on five two, it'll bring it up. The problem is it won't go back. So you got to get used to that. Okay, we'll continue on. TXF. What this is, it's set to auto right now. I want to show you what the options are. Now I'm going to show you what it is to program. Here's the steps to program this radio as well. When you're in menu, go to enter. You'll see an arrow next to the item that you're going to program. So right now it's set to auto. I wanted to check, change that to F3. Now when you're done with that, you simply hit menu. The arrow goes away. You're still in menu mode. Hit exit. And now you're back into normal operations. Now I want you to see something. I set it to F3. That's F3. Now when I transmit, watch what happens. You'll notice it switched down to F3. I don't know what the benefit of that feature would be. So typically, I leave that off. So let's go back to that. I mean, leave it in auto. So we'll hit enter, auto, menu. And that's it. That's set now. And we'll see that when you go back. See? There you go. This is a receive PL frequency, transmit PL frequency, DTMF, if you're going to use that, or repeater calls for that for PL. Scan mode. This is scan mode. There are three options. I'm going to show you the options here. There's, uh, let's go into it. There's TO, which is based on time. So if you're scanning, it has a specific set time that it'll stay on a frequency it's listening to it and it's stopped at. CO is carrier detect. It'll keep scanning and as long as there's a carrier, it'll stay there listening to that frequency. And SE, this is interesting. It'll Stop at a frequency that's occupied, that's being used, that it detects a signal on, and it stays there until you press the button and tell it to go on. <laughs> so, again, I don't use it to scan, so I don't do anything with that. So, we'll simply uh, just um, exit that. Save. This is battery save. Save mode, on or off. I leave it on. Push to talk ID. I've turned this on and off, and I've listened to myself. I don't hear anything, so I don't know what that really does. Okay, now we have three things in a row, and you'll see it's, they're very similar. MDF-A, MDF-B, MDF-C. Okay, I'm going to go back now. Oh, sorry. I'm going to go back, and you'll notice the first line in my display has text, and the second two lines have frequencies in them. So if we go back to this, MDF-A has name, B and C have frequencies in them. That's how that's programmed. Lock, this is a key keypad lock. Open set, this is when you boot the radio up. Uh, it says DC on here, I want you to see something. When I turn the radio off, I have it set to DC when I turn it on. You see the battery voltage when it first powers up. That's why, that's where I have that set. There are other options for that, you can set it to, um, you can set it for um, nothing, or you can set it for like a picture. And I don't know what the picture is, but because <laughs> I saw it, it just like a, it just scanned the screen, so I really don't know what it is. I leave it for DC just so I can see what the uh, voltage is. BCL is a busy channel lock. Again, I think that's when you're scanning. Now this is important. Shift direction. Oh, let me try to get that better so you can see that. Shift direction. It's minus, plus, or nothing. That is for your repeater offset. So that tells you the direction, whether it's a negative split, a positive split, or there's no, you're operating simplex and there's no split. This is an important memory, as is, I'm sorry, as is this. This is the actual split in um, frequency. This goes from, uh, this could be 600 kilohertz in, uh, on two meters to five megahertz on 440. This is a bit of a trap because this doesn't normally default. If you're programming a repeater on two meters, this won't default to 600 kilohertz. 
So that's a little bit of a trap. You have to always make sure that is set right. Roger beep. Uh, that's if you want the beep on. So after you uh, get done transmitting, I'll, I'll turn that on so you can hear it. Let um, me just make sure the radio's turned up. It is. Okay, so I will set this. We go to enter, change it, menu, exit. Now I have it for, um, let me put it on uh, simplex. Now listen to the beep. Do you hear it? Uh, I leave that off. <laughs> uh, I'll leave that off. Enter, off. Menu. Okay, we'll continue on. Scramble mode, we don't use that here in this country, I believe. And the last thing is a compander. It sounds like there's a little bit of an audio processor on this thing for transmit. Um, I leave it on. And that's it. We come back to the first menu setting of Squelch. And now we'll program from the keypad to put in a repeater. And the repeater I'm going to put in is a local machine on UHF. So I'll use band C for this. And first thing we want to do is go into VM mode. We don't want to see that's showing the, the memory location. Right now we're in VFO mode because there's no number there. By the way, you might be thinking that 3W means 3 watts. No, that means I'm in that tri-band monitoring mode that you saw me set earlier. So let's put in a repeater. We'll start off with the frequency. 4, 4, 4, 200. Okay, and you'll see right now it's just keying up as a, as a simplex frequency. So the first thing we want to set is the split. Split direction. So the split direction in this machine is positive. So we hit enter, positive, menu. We go to the next, which is the difference. Remember now, we have to set this. So we'll go to enter, zero, five, zero, zero. That's five megahertz. Menu confirms it. Now we're going to go to do the transmit, the PL. And this is a little different. Let's go to that. Transmit, there's for the transmit PL. We enter, but now watch this. You hit the VM button and there's your tones. Now you use the, the knob on the top to select and this repeater is on 131.8. There we go. And we hit menu. And now we go back, we hit exit. And there's the repeater. To save this frequency now into a memory channel, you press the menu button and hold it. And you'll see some numbers appear here. And I know that channel 13 is open. Just hit menu again. Now it looks like it didn't go anywhere, but you hit the VM button and go into memory mode and there it is. To program the radio from the computer, we use the supplied programming cable that comes with it. So the first thing we do is we make sure the radio is turned off, and it is, and we plug this cable into the microphone port on the side of the radio, and then we'll plug the other end into a USB port. After installing the software on the computer, you'll get some instructions on how to convert it from Chinese to English. And when you do that, everything shows up in English. I don't know how well you can see this. Hopefully it comes up okay in the video. It'll have one set of frequencies and some settings defaulted to channel one. Now at this point, I've got everything programmed into the radio itself. Uh, so like most software packages, the first thing you want to do is read what's in the radio. So we'll do that. Read from radio. And we hit OK. Right now it is downloading all the data that I put into the radio. And when that comes in, you'll see this table populate. And there we go. And you can see right here, here's that 44.200 that we programmed earlier. Now, note a couple of things here. First, there is no place to do a minus or plus split. And there's no place to actually just program the difference, the offset, as either 600 kilohertz or 5 megahertz or whatever it is for, for 220. That's not there. You have to do some math for that. So let's just take the one I had in there. We're going to delete that, and we're going to program it again. I'll reprogram in that repeater, but just to show that it is different, I'll put a little alpha tag with it here, and you'll see that when we go back to the HT. So we'll put in that same repeater. It was 444.200. We don't need to have the receive 
PL turned on. But you'll notice this now we have to do the math. So it's a positive split. So we're going to make this 449.200. This has a pull down. So we'll use 131.8. We'll leave everything else as is. If I wanted to add it to the scan list, I could put here and just say add it. Now, I'm going to call this demo. Next step, write to the radio. Yes, it's okay to write to the radio. So right now it is talking to the radio. And when this is done, we'll see how it turned out. I'll turn the radio back on. There's my little battery voltage indication. And now we'll go through the memory. I'm on band A. I'll go through the memories because that's where the, the alphanumerics are. And there's demo. That's the one we just programmed. We'll key it. And it works. So as you can see, this is relatively easy to program, both from the keypad and from the computer. Um, to boot, it's a tri-band radio, and it gives you 220, and that's a band that's not used that much these days. So you know how it goes. If you don't use it, you'll lose it. Um, the radio's built well, it's got a really good feel to it, um, and look, it comes with the tri-band antenna, which is a, a great feature to have. I don't want to be swapping antennas, you know, between 2 meters and 220 and 440. One antenna does it all. So hopefully this, this video helped you and, and, and maybe answered a few questions you might have had about this radio. Um, if you did, then please hit like, and uh, certainly I'd love to invite you to subscribe to the channel just to keep us encouraged to <laughs> keep making these videos for you. Uh, so again... TH350, a TYT TH350. It's a great little radio. I highly recommend it. Till next time, 73 from K2CJB.